Meanwhile, according to a new report, Biden has another pair of new shoes. They're designed to give Joey even more stability after a number of, well, embarrassing stumbles and the fact that he had to give up the big boy stairs to Air Force One for, well, the little boy stairs in the back. Here with reaction, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, outnumbered co-host Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, all right, um, I don't think the new sneakers are there, but this is where I see the campaign. I was on Fox and Friends this morning, and by the way, I'm sure they're going to run my montage from the last segment, because if they don't, I have to buy them all dinner, which I don't really want to do if I don't have to. <laughs> um, uh, but, Kaylee, here's his problem. His base is leaving him. He's lost over 20 percent of the African-American vote. Hispanic Americans, it's almost a dead heat between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. That's a win for Trump. Uh, if you look at young people, they're not interested in a cranky, old, confused president that uh, has no energy at all whatsoever, unless, of course, he's jacked up on Red Bull and, and caffeine or maybe something else. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't venture a guess. Um, however, they're losing their base. They're bleeding the base. What does Joe do at this point? Yeah, you nailed it. It, it. What's really interesting, Sean, I think if you took a look at the Biden internal polls right now, you would not only see him doing poorly among the groups you just named, which he has to do well among, but I think you would see a mutiny among progressives. I think it is worse than what any of us know, because that's the only way you explain the actions we're seeing. It's the only way you explain Kamala Harris going to an abortion clinic, the first vice president ever to do so. It's the only way you explain a state of the union that is fever pitched, that is angry, that is red meat for the base. It's the only way you explain a president who has been around a long time, who knows about hot mics, who sends a message to Bibi Netanyahu and a message to progressives on Gaza by calling out Israel. It's the only reason you have a White House that has a marijuana summit, which is what they had last week. They they are hemorrhaging the far left. And in an effort to get the far left back, they are pushing away independence. So they're in this interesting pull push conundrum. They're trying to pull the progressives in because they know they got to have them. But I think they're losing the Nikki Haley voter, the independent voter, the soft Democrat in the process. You know, I, I think Haley makes a lot of good points here. You got Kamala Harris sh showing up, uh, Governor at an abortion clinic, then inviting, you know, the weed lobby, the legalized weed lobby to the White House for, um, and having a big event with them. Uh, follow that up with, you know, everything else that they've been doing. It seems like every decision now is about their, them bleeding their base and trying to bring them home. Um, and, I, I, and then the last, and I think the most important issue was what Kaylee said, too, about their treatment of our closest ally in the Middle East, and that's, that's Israel and Prime Minister Netanyahu. The only reason Schumer and Biden called for elections in Israel after the worst terror attack in their history, while they are in a fight for their survival, is because they were bleeding voters. 18.9 percent of people in Michigan wouldn't vote for Joe in the primary over that one issue. Wow. That speaks volumes about his character. Their bigger problem is uh, they're trying to sell something nobody wants. I mean, this is like trying to sell buckets of chicken at a vegan convention. It's just not going over. I mean, the fact is, when you try to go and pretend that you suddenly uh, really don't like Israel, well, you do two things. You offend all the people who do look at Israel as the real ally and look at Hamas as a group of terrorist butchers, and you can't side with one or the other. And you start trying to pretend that maybe Israel ought to have an election. Maybe what Israel ought to do is to just say, you know what, we're not going to have a two-state solution, not now, not ever. And we're going to build communities for our families to live securely in Judea and Samaria. And we're going to step those efforts up. And a smart U.S. politician would say, bravo, we're with you 100 percent, because if you do anything else, you have rewarded Hamas. Joe's trying to have it both ways. And when you try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody, and everyone turns against you, and his poll numbers reflect that right now. And how dumb is this? This, is a, this was a terrorist attack. Extrapolate out the population and compare it to the American population. Kaylee, it would be the equivalent of 40,000 dead Americans in a day. We lost 2,977 Americans on September 11th, and 
because of 9-11 related illness, many thousands thereafter. And how would we feel if, you know, our allies turned on us this way? They're not even asking for boots on the ground. They're not even asking for money. They said they would buy the weapons from us. That's all they want. Yeah, I mean, Sean, it's hard to hear, but but babies were put in ovens. That happened. A guy, a young boy, one-year-old, Kafir Bebas, his brother Ariel, still in the hands of, of terrorists. They're out there. Who knows where they are this evening alongside their mom and their dad? These are real people. They have names. And Biden said it all when he told Israel, control your rage. You can't have it both ways. He stood on principle with Israel, and then he's seething when the political repercussions are losing progressives. It's a sad state of affairs for Joe Biden, but stick with the innocent. Stand up for the innocent. Yeah. Stand with our Democratic friends in the Middle East. What's the point of fighting war, Governor, if you're not fighting it to win it? Well, you're not only fighting to win it, you fight it on the right side. It's horrible that civilians have died in Gaza, but the reason they've died is because of Hamas. And let's not forget something. We have American citizens being held hostage. Be nice if Schumer and Biden would Thank be talking you. about the Americans being held hostage. Thank you for reminding America, Governor. America needs to rem remember that. Thank you both.